Hello and welcome to the F1 2024 track guide and hot lap series. Well, I'll be taking you guys through a track guide on each of the 2024 circuits in full on the F1 2024 game before its upcoming race meeting. Today we'll be looking at the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. We'll go for a nice slow lap at first. I'll give you guys a few hints on how I tackle the circuit, give you guys a couple of recommendations, and afterwards there will be a full hot lap at the end of the guide. So here we are on the start finish straight. Very long start finish straight from pole position. Um, so you've got plenty of time to give yourself a breather and figure out how to tackle turn one. Now as you can see, and here's the turn where there is a little bit of hybrid real estate here. If you look at the, the left side, you see these two grey lines on the on the track. The second one right here, that's that'll be a good breaking point for uh, the race. Uh, though that's a good breaking point. If you break before that, um, that that'll be sort of about your your race break mark, just right on it where the car is now. That's ideally perfect for qualifying. The later you can break, the better. If you can, especially if you can get your, if you can pull the car up. Turning point is just after the 50 meter board. Now, what you want to do, it's a bit of a tricky complex turn one and two at Barcelona. What you want to do is compromise turn one. So try and break a, as early as you possibly can to get the car as far to the right side of the track as possible. Because that, if you do that, then you're opening up turn two. You can turn in a lot, or as, as late as you can, but you can carry more speed into turn two, and then the car will work its way towards the outside. A little bit of open real estate there. Use a bit of that, but not too much, because you want to move the car um, to, to the left to open up turn three. Turn three, just carry all the speed as you possibly can. There is no lifting whatsoever. Try and stay to the inside as long as you can. And then what you want to do is you want to gradually open up the steering wheel. Just, just gradually, not a whole lot, just a little bit. And just let the car flow to the outside. If you can stay along the inside as long as you can in qualifying, you'll find lap time. And that's a very... That's a good thing to do. Turn number four, end of the first sector already. Again, bit of open real estate. Try and get the car as close to the to the outside as possible. Because uh, therefore, because the more open real estate you use, the more lap time you gain. Breaking just around 75, around the 75 meter mark, or 75 meters before the corner. Turning point is just after the 50 meter board, or if you can, use, or you use the shadow to from the bridge to um, to use your turning point. Hit your apex, hang the inside as long as you can, and then just let the car, just let the car move to the outside. Um, if you want to go searching for that inside, you'll find more lap time there. Um, turn five is a bit of a tricky one because you want to use the curb uh, just to open up the corner uh, a little bit more. Uh, really, open up the corner as much as you can is, is very ideal. Turn five, try and save the inside as long as you can as well and keep your big corner speed up. Uh, but it's not easy easy to do because when, you're, when your engine braking is a little bit up, uh, you can't, the car can still snap sideways on you. So you just gotta be a little bit wary of that. Uh, so try not to brake too hard for, for turn five. Turn six uh, is a tricky one in F123. The car was so much more stable on 23 compared to, to 22. So this is a little bit loose. Um, turn in, hang on, I'll, I'll just go back. Um, so there's no braking boards to, to turn into. Um, you wanna try and turn in as late as you can. Um, so just as you get to the corner, I think it's around about 50 or 40 meters from the corner. Don't take too much of the curb on the inside, but use all of it or as much of it as you can through turn eight. So here we are, short short run from turn eight to turn nine. You wanna turn in as late as you get. Turn in as you get to the end of the curve. I'll just reverse. Turn in as you get to that edge of, of the curve. So, so you turn in, you can get through turn, turn nine very flat, pretty much. So hit your apex, try not to use too much of that curve, or try and literally kiss that apex if you can. 
and then just let the car run right out to the outside, use all of the track limits. Once you get to the end of the second layer of kerbing, then get, get the car off of the kerbs or gradually uh, get the car off the kerbs before you, you get to the end of, of, that, of the, the first layer of kerbing. And then just follow, follow the racing line to the outside. Uh, turn 10 to tricky one because this was a heavy braking zone once upon a time. Uh, braking around about 125 meters or, or there or thereabouts. Brake as lucky as you can, but just be careful when you're, you're braking super late because uh, if you're not careful and you don't gradually let, let your foot off the brake, the car will snap sideways on you like it will at turn five if you're not careful. So hit your apex, don't use too much of the inside curb because if you hit the sausage curb, you lose time and it makes the car unstable. Let the car drift to the outside and then what you want to do is open up this corner here as much as you can. I like to take, I like to take a middle line um, and I like to try and carry uh, as much mid corner speed as possible. I think that's, that's the ideal racing line that I take anyway. So th that's, it's a, recommend, it's a recommendation. Like I said in the intro, the, the lines I'm, I'm giving you guys, they're recommendations. Uh, you don't have to go. That, that's what I like to do. I don't know if you guys like to change that, things up a little bit, but that's, that's, um, that's what I like to do. The, um, last part of the lap, you can really choose what you want to do. If you want to use the open real estate right here, you want to add and try and turn in as late as you can. If you do that, you look after the tyres a little bit more. You're not, you know, they're not stressed out as much. Um, uh, kiss the white line, let the car move to the outside. And again, you can choose to use as much open real estate as possible. You can get through the last corner very much flat out if you get the correct line. And don't use all of the, the, the limits on the outside because you want to get the car off the curb as quickly as you possibly can. And just drive in a straight line to complete the lap. And that is a hot lap of the Spanish GP circuit. And now for the full hot lap. And that is a hot lap of the Circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Stay tuned for more hot lap guides, especially for the ones coming up at the Red Bull Ring and Silverstone. Comment down below, who do you reckon is going to win the Spanish GP? Uh, give me your thoughts on this, this video's guide. And until the next one, enjoy the Spanish GP weekend, and I'll see you next time.